How to make skeleton leaves. Skeleton leaves are beautiful, delicate, lacy leaves used for scrapbooking, decoupage, and other crafts. They can be expensive to buy, but they are surprisingly easy to make. Not only can you save lots of money by making them at home, but you can also customize them by bleaching or dyeing them. Best of all, you can choose your own leaf shape and size. Using washing soda. Place the leaves you want to use into a saucepan. However many leaves you choose to use is up to you, but avoid overcrowding the pot. You want to create an even layer across the bottom of the pot, at most. The best type of leaves to work with have a waxy, glossy surface, like magnolia or gardenia leaves. Cover the leaves with washing soda and water. You will need 1 half to 3 quarters cups 70 to 105 grams of washing soda and 4 cups 950 milliliters of water. Give the solution a gentle stir to combine it. Do not use baking soda, it is not the same thing. 3. Washing soda is also called sodium carbonate, you can find it in the laundry section of grocery stores and supermarkets. 4. Cook the leaves until they soften. Bring the water to a boil over medium to medium high heat first, then reduce it to a simmer. Cook the leaves until they turn soft. This will take about 90 minutes to 2 hours, depending on the type of leaf you are using. The water will evaporate as you simmer it. Add more water to the pot as needed so that the leaves don't dry out. 6. Remove the leaves from the water. Put on a pair of plastic or rubber gloves first. Next, use a pair of tongs or a spatula to remove the leaves from the water. Set the leaves onto a paper towel and gently brush the leaf pulp away. Hold the leaves by the stem with tweezers, and use a paintbrush or a soft toothbrush to gently brush the pulp away. Turn the leaf over, and scrape the other side clean too. It would be even better if you work while the leaves are under cool to room temperature water. 9. Be very gentle during this step, the leaves will be fragile. 10. Rinse the leaves in fresh water once more. The leaves will be very delicate at this stage, so be gentle with them. Fill a tub with cool to room temperature water, then place the leaves in the water. Gently swish the leaves around, if needed. If the leaves still have residue clinging to them, change the water and repeat this step. Do not rinse the leaves under running water, the force of the stream will damage them. Allow the leaves to dry. Place the leaves between two paper towels, then stack heavy books on top. The paper towels will help absorb the excess moisture while the books will help make the leaves dry flat. If you don't do this, the leaves may warp and curl. If you want curled or warped natural leaves, allow them to dry on a sheet of paper towel without anything on top. Since they won't have anything weighing them down, the leaves will warp naturally as they dry. 